Assalamu alaikum how are you dear students the story we completed yesterday you know as you know was about a little boy who saved his siblings his brothers okay while uh, they had been left in the jungle or forest by their parents for the fear of poverty okay since their parents Uh, did not have anything to okay feed their sons so they decided to leave their sons in the jungle so that uh, some rich men may take pity over them and take them home right since the little boy had heard the conversation between his parents he had already planned to uh, uh plan how to save his brothers or siblings and with the help of the white stones he had put in the way he managed to bring okay his brothers back home while seeing okay their sons safe and sound the parents got over in joy because okay just uh, moments or just uh, some moments before reaching home they had found some silver coins over there in home waiting for him for them okay uh, but they were repented what had they done with their uh, with their sons okay from then on the whole family began to live happily this was all about the story okay now comes the activity okay so let's have a look on the activity a answer the following questions Okay first question is why were the woodcutter's children always hungry because they were growing fast so they felt always hungry or appetite right who gave the utmost anxiety to his parents okay the youngest son uh, mirchu gave the utmost anxiety or restlessness okay to his parents why was the youngest son called mirchu because when he was born he was of the size of a pepper that is why he was named mirchu right what did the mother wish when she was so full of <coughs> sorrow when she was so full of sorrow she wished that uh, wished that she would have three sons instead of seven so that they could uh, they uh, had been would have been fed well and brought up nicely what did mirchu fill his pockets with mirchu filled his pockets with white stones what did mirchu's mother tell him in the morning okay uh, in the morning mirchu's mother told him okay that they were going to the forest why did the boys forget their hunger because they okay uh, got busy in collecting or gathering uh, wood firewood okay in the forest why did the boys begin to weep bitterly because oh uh, they they did not find their uh, parents their father okay after repeatedly calling him they started to weeping extremely why did they have a feast in the woodcutter's cottage because um, they were not um, poor anymore they had got some silver coins okay in the payment of uh, the debt about which the woodcutter and his wife was unmindful they forgot about 
that payment okay also they have they had seen their sons again they all came home safe and sound that is why they had a big banquet or feast in their cottage right now comes the next activity that is fill in the blanks with the words given below okay these are the word bank and you have to fill the blanks with the appropriate words the children were there so fast growing so fast the youngest child gave his parents the most anxiety okay at most anxiety go with this uh, these are the sentences taken from the story so it is easy to do it okay now let's have a look on this see read the following sentences and tick the correct answer the children were always hungry hungry means without food without water or without money without food okay and the youngest son gave the utmost anxiety to his parents anxiety means okay uh, okay okay you worry worry when he was uh, born virtue was the size of a pepper only size of the pepper means very fat very small very big very small <coughs> right and some rich man will find them and look after them look after means run after them search for take care of them you will see is correct okay take care of them and as soon as there was light in the school there was some discussion out so here i repeat as soon as there was light mirtu crept out of the cottage crept out means ran out quickly moved out quickly or jumped out quickly okay moved out quickly moved okay slowly move not ran okay ran and jump might make noise okay d for each word in list a find a word of opposite meaning from this b as shown in the example one has been done for you wife opposite to wife is has been poor opposite to poor is rich and sad opposite to sad is um, happy where is it okay happy um, and just read and uh, find the relevant antonym or opposite right now comes this activity e write the correct sketch up made you focus on the following points in the mind map this is uh, gonna be important activity okay so dear students do not forget to bring it to me right physical you are character sketch about mirchu must be covering his physical appearance how does he look his accomplishment no his personality what kind of personality he has what kind of challenges or problems he has to face okay what is the role of mirchu in this story he is the main role he is the hero of the story actually the story revolves around this person this mirchu this boy right and accomplishment achievement what has he achieved okay he in the in the end of the story okay saved his siblings right and brought them back home right f activity f identify the following elements of the story clever mirchu as i have earlier told you about the elements of the story that setting character plot and theme okay setting include the time and location time is uh, uh, the uh, night waiting on okay the night waiting on the night changing in today or the night waits on today okay today uh, in the location is the story takes place in uh, a village okay and in a forest character different uh, persons playing different roles in the story okay but the story uh, mainly revolves around mirchu right plot means different events in the story there is there must be okay chronological uh, uh, arrangement of plot okay Chron chronological means the way something happens right t 
theme is called theme is the central idea of the story okay it is the central idea of the story and as far as the story is concerned the central idea is the poverty to what extent okay the family was gripped by poverty and the poverty left or compelled the parents the poor woodcutter okay to leave their loving sons in the forest right so okay i think you must have understood now okay g read the story and complete the given timeline of the story beginning what happens in the beginning how the story opens <coughs> middle how the story progresses and uh, this is the end how the story concludes or resolves right so easy very easy if you have any queries while uh, dealing with uh, these exercises uh, you can contact me i'll always love to answer your questions thank you dear students we have uh, done the reading for comprehension part inshallah in the next lecture i'll come up with the grammar part so be geared for that thank you